where is Corbin Castle? While looking for things to do at my hostel in Seabury, I saw a picture of a castle hanging on a wall that immediately stood out. Corbin Castle looked like it belongs in a fairy tale book cover. I added it to my Romanian, Balkan, itinerary via Google My Maps and booked the train ride to Deva, the closest city the next day. Corbin Castle, Castello Corvinilor in Romanian, lies 17 kilometers south of Deva, in a town called Punidora. I wanted to get to Punidora during the golden hour but there weren't any trains or buses bound for Deva at a reasonable time. There were a few at 8.30 and then some at 4 p.m., I am perplexed at Romania's transportation system. The schedules are ridiculous and don't seem to have any logic as to why it's done the way it is. Pro tip, you can travel very comfortable in Romania in less than $35 a day. Find out how. The trains and buses tend to be late as well, they get there when they get there and they're often late 15 minutes or more. So by the time I got to Deva the sun was already beginning to set so I hailed a taxi hoping to get there before nightfall. By the time I got there the castle was closed. I explored around outside and found the castle intriguing so I booked a hotel nearby hoping to explore it the next day. The fairy tale Corbin Castle or the Hunyadi Castle is a popular castle in Romania. An awesome castle. The Corbin Castle turned out to be one of my greatest find in Romania. Ram. Dracula Castle, did not impress me but Corvine was everything I had expected and then some. The castle is what I've read about in my childhood, Sir Thomas Mallory's Knights of the Round Table novels. What's in Corvin Castle? Corvine, sometimes called, Hunyad Castle is your quintessential fairy tale castle, complete with a drawbridge over a rushing river serving as a moat and 30 meters thick stone walls built on old Roman fortifications. Its Renaissance Gothic style flows with the small Lasty River right below. It's an imposing structure with tall towers, bastion, dungeons, courtyard, colored roofs, and many windows and balconies embellished with fine stone carvings. Drawbridge Who built Corvine Castle? This fantastic site stands as a symbol of Hungarian rule and an excellent example of Gothic architecture in Transylvania. Built in 15th century by Jan Kuh of Hunidora, also known as John of Hunidora, in the town of the same name, it's an imposing and creepy castle that stands out over an otherwise bland and industrial landscape. Jan Kuh of Hunidora was the ruler of Transylvania around 1441 to 1456 and acted as regent of Hungary around 1446 to 1452. Jan Kuh was a brilliant military commander who fought against the Ottoman Empire and a mentor of the infamous Vlad the Impaler, aka, Dracula. There are rumors that Vlad, imprisoned in Corvin Castle for months, became the insane despot he is known for. You can see the dungeon, complete with a medieval stretching machine, where he might have become insane. Corvin Castle might, in fact, have served as the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula according to some theories. It's a much grander and creepier castle than Bram Castle. No. Just no, I don't want to be this guy. Oh well, oh well. The castle's courtyard has an interesting 100-foot well, dug deep into stone during the 15th century. Legend says it was dug by three Turkish prisoners and they took 15 years and 28 meters deep before they got to the precious water. Promised freedom if they completed the task by the king who died prior to the well's completion. The king's wife, Elizabeth Shilagi, decided the agreement annulled and executed the Turkish prisoners. Given their last wish, the prisoners asked if they could write an inscription on the wall, in Turkish. You can still see this inscription today and it translates to, you may have water, but you have no soul, the one who dug here is Husan, prisoner to the Jiers in the fortress next to the church. On the western side of the castle lies the Knight Hall, Sala Cavalerilla. A row of octagonal columns divide the sections. A small collection of armors and weapons and one of Viancu of Hunido or his bust are found here. This room also served as a place of trials and sentencing for the enemies of the royal court. Prisoners are sometimes tortured during questioning. A party of torture. The hall served as a room for festive occasions and parties for when they got bored of torturing hapless prisoners. Below this hall is the creepy dungeon, complete with fake rubber or wax prisoners made to look even creepier with contorted facial expressions. I don't even want to know what the heel is for. Other noteworthy spots are the Capistrano Tower and the Bear Pit. You can climb up the Capistrano Tower for a greater view of the town of Unidora. I wish the view up there was of a never-ending haunted forge but that's not the case. Unidora is a very industrial town. The view from Capistrano Tower. Unidora is a bit of an industrial town. Don't end up in the pit. The bear pit is directly outside the walls. Condemned people were supposedly fed to those bears according to legend. What an interesting and scary situation it must have been for prisoners awaiting sentencing at the Knights Hall. You have door number one, dig a well for 15 years or door number two, disappear into the bear's pit and door number three, get stretched out like spaghetti on a medieval stretching machine. 
Go ahead pick your poison. They sure don't build medieval walls like they used to. Corbin Castle is the first castle I've ever been in where it felt medieval. I wanted to don some chainmail armor and run around brandishing a maze and scare off hapless tourists out of the castle. But the tale of the Turkish prisoners had me rethink that thought. Digging a well for 15 years only to get executed at upon completion will not be my fate. Or become stretched thin like spaghetti in one of the medieval torture machine. Visit Romania and visit Corvine Castle. Corvin Castle Hours. Monday, 9 o'clock to 1500 hours. Tuesday through Sunday. During 1st of November through 29th February, 9 o'clock to 1600 hours. On the 1st of March through 30th April, 9 o'clock to 1700 hours. At 1st of May through 31st August, 9 o'clock to 1800 hours. 1st September through 31st October, 9 o'clock to 1700 hours. Entry tickets, adults, 20 Romanian lei, about 4 bucks, students, 5 Romanian lei, about a buck, photo tax, 5 Romanian lei, video tax, 15 Romanian lei, guide tax, 30 Romanian lei. Getting to Corvin Castle. The closest city is Deva. There are trains and buses that run from Bucharest. It's slow, so you might consider a car or staying a night or two in a city nearby such as Sibiu or Alba Iulia. From Deva, you can take a taxi or a bus. Buses are cheap, a taxi not so much, 40 Romanian lei. It might be worth it to stay at one of the pensions, hotels and Cunida or so you can explore the castle at your leisure.